Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with Double A Shaves, back again for another video. Um, I wanted to do another Top Soaps video today, and um, I thought I would do Sterling. You know, um, I'm sure most of us are pretty familiar with the brand. Um, for me, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Sterling is just a great deal. Um, you know, their soap jars are 5.8 ounces, and you get them for like... 14 bucks, which is probably the best deal in wet shaving currently. I can't really think of a better one. Um, yeah, and it seems like, you know, the industry-wide standard is, uh, what is it, like four ounces. And a lot of them sell their four-ounce soaps for like 20 plus dollars. Um, you know, I, I still gladly buy them. You know, I, I love shaving soap, and uh, I think it lasts a while, so it's always worth it, you know. But, um, man, just Sterling just... You know, it hits, it just hits it on all cylinders, like great performance, great deal, huge catalog of scents, great customer service. There's really just nothing to dislike about the brand. Um, and they make a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good scents. So I'm just really happy to be uh, going over my, my top scents today from them. I do have eight of them. Uh, I got six jars, six full 5.8 ounce jars and two samples that I'll be going over. So, um, so yeah, if you guys have uh, similar favorites, let me know. Or if you have different favorites, you know, I always like hearing what you guys think. So um, yeah, let's do this. So uh, coming in first spot, it's so this is Red Delicious and it's not, this is the only one where it's like not my favorite scent. The reason I have it in my list is because it was actually my first shave soap back in the day along with uh, Cavendish from PAA. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to, uh, include it in here. It's, uh, the past couple of falls, I haven't seen this on their site. I think they may have discontinued it probably because it didn't sell that well. Um, but you know, it happens. That's just the nature of the business. If people aren't buying the soap, then, you know, they're probably going to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I, you know, like I said, this was my first shave soap along with Cavendish like a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, I always was kind of into apple scent, so I thought it would smell pretty good. Um, yeah, not not my favorite scent. It's uh, it's pretty synthetic. I'm not gonna lie. It's it kind of the first thing that comes to my mind when I smell it is like L'Oreal Kid shampoo. Girlfriend kind of likes it. She's she says it's kind of like a bright, happy scent, which I guess it kind of is, but a little too synthetic for my taste. But I'm not gonna get rid of it because. One, it's discontinued, and two, it was my first soap, so that's red delicious. All right, coming in, number two, we got vanilla sandalwood. This is such an awesome, awesome, awesome scent. Um, yeah, and Sterling soap lasts forever. I've actually used a pretty good amount of this. It's getting down there. Um, man, just, it's, uh, it's cool because it's not too, nothing in it is really overpowering. There's a good amount of vanilla or sorry, like the, the vanilla is not too strong. The sandalwood's not really too strong. It's just really well blended, really pleasant. Um, and when you smell it, it's not like you're picking up one note over the other. I think it's, you know, when you smell it, you, you do get both the vanilla and sandalwood and it's just a really nice, sweet vanilla woody accord. It's really, really awesome, awesome scent. Um, yeah, if you're into like, you know, earthy and sweet scents, vanilla sandalwood is awesome. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorites in here. That's vanilla sandalwood. All right, coming up next, we got Barbershop. This kind of seems to be a fan favorite. I know a lot of people like this one. And really cool label on there, too. I like how he's got the barber side and everything and the barber pole. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one of their top selling soaps, and for a good reason. This is just a fantastic, fantastic scent. So it's kind of funny. Um, I have a lot of barbershop scented soaps in my den from different artisans. You know, there's like Seville from Barrister and Man. Um, you know, what else is there? It's like Ghost Town Barber from Chiseled Face and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, every artisan, I guess, kind of has like their barbershop scented soap, but it's kind of funny. So I think the direction Sterling decided to take with this one is kind of like a, it's a really, really sweet kind of barbershop. You know, you got some, it's sweet, powdery, there's some vanilla in there. 
I pick up a little bit of like the blue, even like the blue barbicide liquid too, kind of that scent. And funny enough, out of all the barbershop scented soaps I have, I think this one, I think barbershop kind of, you know, does the best job of taking me back to my childhood barbershop. I think for some reason, I just remember, you know, walking in, I just rem remember getting that waft of like, of sweetness, I think from the powder. And then you pick up a little bit of the, a little hint of the barber side. But yeah, I just, I just remember that sweetness from my childhood barber shop. And when I first smelled this one, I just, it took me right back and it's just amazing. I don't know how they did it or they figured out the scent over at Sterling, but it's just really, really, really awesome. Um, yeah, it's 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 like it's as if they replicated that that scent I remember from my childhood in my in my barber shop, and I just really really am a huge fan of it. So, um, yeah, sweet sweet powdery vanilla type thing. I think there might be a little bit of sandalwood in the back there too, but yeah, it's really nice sweet barber shop scent, and um, definitely one of my favorites. So that's barber shop, really really awesome scent. Coming up next, uh, kind of a different direction. We got coniferous here. This man, I, I'm a big fan of Woody scents, and this one, it smells as if you just, it's literally as if you're smelling like the, you cut down a pine tree and you're smelling the inside of it, like it's insane. Um, oh, and, and this one is also, uh, it's one of their soaps where for the scent, they use essential oils and not fragrance oils. And I think because of that, like the scent quality is a lot better. It's definitely noticeable and I've had this for a few years and the scent is, it's still like as strong as it was day one. And I do think it's because of that essential oil, the essential oils in there. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's as if you, you know, you just cut down a pine tree and like you're smelling the inside of it. I think that there's a little bit of, there's like a little bit of a cedar in there too. It's like a pine and cedar scent. Whew, man. Yeah. I used to live up in Vermont kind of on a farm and it just takes me back to that, you know, that scent of like walking through the woods and, you know, when we would use the chainsaws to cut down trees. It's just really, really realistic scent. Um, yeah, they did a really, really good job with this one. Probably one, probably, it might be the most masculine scent I have. It just, you know, it's probably how like a lumberjack smells <laughs> after a hard day's work, like that smell on his shirt. But yeah, coniferous is just really awesome. You know, think, just think like literally center of a pine tree. It smells like pine sap. Um, and I think it, I'm glad they added in the cedar in there too, because it kind of makes it an even bolder woody scent. But um, yeah, coniferous is, is just really awesome. If you're into like realistic woody type scents, this is going to be right up your alley. I do love this one a lot. All right, coming up next, uh, this is actually another one that's made with only essential oils. This is their Bay Rum. And um, yeah, for those of you who don't know much about bay rum, um, a lot of artisans make, a lot of artisans and perfumers, they make bay rum scents. And I think common notes in bay rum are like clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, orange. It, you know, it kind of, it kind of smells like a, it almost kind of, I think a good way to describe bay rum is it smells like the inside, almost like the inside of like a fall of like a spice cabinet, but like think if it were only like the fall baking spices, you know, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove, you know, kind of picture that. And I think that's what bay rum smells like. I'm a huge bay rum fan and um, it just works for me. I just, I just love the spiciness. I think it makes like a really good type of masculine scent. Just really, really, I do like that, the boldness of the spices and um, yeah, so so a lot, I know some artisans like Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, they take out the clove. I know a lot of people don't like clove in their bay rum. Um, but I like Sterling's a lot because it's just the classic take. You know, there's, they didn't mess with it. It's just, um, you know, clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, orange, just real nice classic um, bay rum scent. And um, it's just really great. Yeah, this is a really, really good scent for the fall too, which is, you know, it's got that nice spicy kind of Christmas spice cake bake thing going on. And um, yeah, it just makes a nice masculine scent. I really, really like Bay Rum. And I think there's a reason that a lot of artisans um, have a Bay Rum scent. So it's, it just works and it's awesome. So that's Bay Rum. Uh, coming up next, 
We got Christmas Eve. I think this is my most, yeah, I think this might actually be my most recent purchase from, um, from Sterling. I got it uh, last holiday season, and this is just a fantastic, fantastic scent. Um, yeah, I didn't even really get a sample of this. I just, I guess when I read the scent notes, I just kind of knew it would be good. I'm really into seasonal scents, and this one is just great. I think the reason I love it so much is because it's, um, in my opinion, it's kind of got everything you could want in a Christmas scent. You get, you get some of the warmer notes, like the, you get some of the sweeter, warmer notes, like there's vanilla and cranberry in there. But then there's also, um, there's also like evergreen notes, you know, that kind of remind you of a Christmas tree. So it's cool. It's like a combination of the evergreen notes from a Christmas tree and then, and then like the sweet notes, like the vanilla and cranberry kind of helped to round out the, the woody evergreen notes. And, and what the thing I love a lot about the scent is it's not, nothing in it is overpowering. I think the vanilla and cranberry do a really good job of rounding out the, the boldness from the evergreen and it's not too sweet. It's just really nice and pleasant. Um, just an amazing, amazing, amazing scent that'll just remind you of a Christmas day, like perfect scent for the winter. I just, I really do love Christmas Eve. It's just absolutely fantastic. Not too overpowering. Um, I think most people would really like this one. This is Christmas Eve and yeah, you need to sag us if you if you're into like seasonal winter scents and you haven't smelled this, you have to get it. It's just absolutely amazing. So then these last two, these these are actually just samples, but I do, I like the scents enough where they kind of made the list. So this one is, get out of the wrapping here. So this is Island Man, and this is a dupe of Creed's Virgin Island Water. Um, I don't have any Creed colognes because they're, you know, they're a little too expensive for me at the moment. I know a lot of people like them, but yeah, I'm glad artisans like Sterling make dupes because, um, you know, it kind of gives me a chance to smell a Crete clone without having to buy it. But yeah, so Island Man is like, in a lot of ways, it's like the perfect summer scent. Um, I guess it's kind of supposed to smell like like a beach on a summer day. And um, yeah, I think in my opinion, it's got, it's kind of got everything you could want in like a beach scent. I mean, you got your... You got the florals, you got the, you got the fruit in there. You got like the citrus. There's some like sweetness. I think there's some sugar cane in there, but yeah, just, it's like everything you could want in a summer scent. Florals, citrus, there's coconut. You know, you got your florals, your fruit. There's some sweetness from the, yeah, like sugar cane. Um, and it's just really, really, really well blended. I think there's a reason why you know, Creed is at the top of the cologne game because they just know how to do it. And um, yeah, again, this is this is like another one of those scents where not one note is like overpowering. It's just really, really, really well blended. It just really works. Um, can't go wrong. Like if, if you're into summer scents and bright scents, you absolutely cannot go wrong with Island Man. This is just a really, really amazing scent. I like this one a lot. And then... Last here, this is another sample. This is Haverford. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get full tubs of these at some point. I just have so much soap that I'm still working on the samples. These samples actually do last me a while. Um, so yeah, this is a Haverford is another dupe. I think it's a dupe of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're into sweet, earthy scents, like you can't go wrong with this one. It's just a really, it's a really rich vanilla tobacco scent really well blended um nice sophisticated scent um just awesome you know just not you know like you don't smell too much of one just really nice tobacco vanilla scent um yeah just awesome 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 scent that's that's Haverford there um all right well that's my top eight soaps from Sterling guys Sorry, I know the video is kind of going on a little bit, but um, but yeah, you know, again, let me know your thoughts. And if you have favorites, I would love to hear them. And um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys watching and I like watching your guys' videos. So uh, thanks again for the support as usual and uh, take care and I'll see you guys soon.